Pisces Studio is in the house as always. I'm sending you blessings. Be careful. Make sure you wash your hands and put that mask on. Do you understand the mask on? Because you are saving your life and other people's life. You don't know who got what. Be careful out there. Don't get used to being these doors are opening up because you see what they say and it's more than ever now. Honey, please don't play yourself out. Okay, now let's get this started, honey. Let me tell you something. I'm sorry that I'm late, but I had to do a couple emergency readings, okay? So let's get this going on here. Let me let you know something. First of all, I want to say thank you for all those who like, share, and subscribe and get private readings. My private readings are unlimited when it comes to time. So if you get a, a reading with me, you need to know, set yourself up, honey, because it ain't no telling the time, okay? God talks, and you know I cannot talk over God. Do you understand that? If you don't have the time for it, please don't waste my time or yours either, all right? And do not forget to put your phone numbers, even when you buy something from my um, website, your phone number, how many times I got to tell y'all? Phone numbers, phone numbers, phone numbers, phone numbers. Do you understand? I can't be fine looking for damn near 7,000 people. Come on now. All right. So let me let you know something. Um, I'm going to send out shout outs real quick. The LGBT community, I'm sending you shout outs to all of you, okay, out there. It ain't nothing like them beautiful colors that you got, honey. I love them. Okay. Lawn DeMaro Tarot, I'm sending you a shout out. Carol, Lynn, Roxy, Kiss Mom and Dad. Terry, I hope you feel better. Um, Kathy, keep on doing the work, the amazing work you do with your paintings, and now she's doing on them on rocks. They are unbelievable, okay? I ordered some from her. Okay, I'm sending shout-outs to um, D-Bear. Okay, shout-outs to you. And anyone else, um, I'm sending shout-out to... Uh, uh, also, to the people that's crossed over, I'm sending shout-out to my mom, my dad, all right, James... Elizabeth's husband, um, Michelle, that's over there with my mom, and um, Dr. Terry's husband right here. And I'm sending um, a special, special, special request from Rhonda to her mother, okay? Ron, Ron, Rhonda has passed, and her daughter or someone to send a shout-out. I'm sending it out to you. Many blessings to all those who have passed over, Okay. Let's get this party started right here. Here we go. Here we go. Like I said, I'm trying to put something up that we're gonna. I'm gonna be selling tickets um, because I'm gonna invite people to come on my Zoom show, and it's gonna only have a certain amount of seat of people that can be on there, and this is gonna be live live Pisces reading along with my guests. It could be anybody. I'm hoping and praying to God that um I can invite Pisces TV to come on my show along with um other people's too, okay? Um uh Roxy, you know, Lynn, you know, I'm inviting y'all to come on my show. G Bear, all y'all coming up on this show. I'm invite y'all. Everything's gonna be beautiful. I'm trying to put it together now, okay? So let's get this reading popping. The first two tear, the first two tear cards is guiding you and the spirits that have crossing over, okay? Here we go. You got the seven of wands, okay? You got the five of cups. Come on now, Pisces. What's going on here, Pisces? What's going on, baby? What's wrong? You got the seven of cups. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. You got the seven of wands. Come on, God. Talk to me now. Let's go. Let's get this party started. The seven of wands is a fire sign. Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Okay. You're sitting in this ball, right? And people got all these like little sticks trying to pop, pop your bubble. But you got to understand one thing about that. And I always tell y'all, you know, whenever I see this, you know, um, I feel like you are standing on your grace, honey. And, um, and sometimes, you know, uh, you got to understand, honey, one thing about this particular card here. You are deserving of this success and you will bravely shine 
your light into the world, okay? Grinding yourself, okay? Protecting yourself, movement, and growth, creativity, okay? Uh, uh, Remaining ahead of yourself, okay? Ahead of whatever's going on around you, okay? Feeling vulnerable and a sign of continue to share your ideas. A sign that says continue to share your ideas and self-expression, okay? And you know, when I look at this card, you know what I say? Haters are haters, okay? Haters are haters. And what I got to say to you, a lot of y'all, you know, y'all got shit popping off. And I'm telling you, it's enough for everybody. When I mean everybody, everybody, there's no reason, there's no need for no one to hate on nobody's parade. If everybody keep their eyes on themselves, you won't even know what the next person is doing. Because it's enough for everybody. When I mean everybody, everybody, the world has not literally... Everything is everything. The only difference is now that we got people coming from the bottom, rising to the top. Ashes, honey. Your ashes are rising from the bottom and coming to the top. The bottom of the ocean is coming up to the top. And that's why God says, whose side you pick? Because when you pick the side, you get ready to get on this boat. And when you get on this boat, I'm going to tell you, when I rise it, the bottom of the ocean, you're going to be sitting on top of that damn thing. Literally. Looking from that big ass ship looking down and it ain't no water. It's no one but the bottom of the ocean. Lift it right on up. You can you can literally walk on it and it ain't going to be no water but you and it. Let me tell you, God is powerful, honey. Don't get it screwed up. It ain't no time for nobody to hate on nobody because it's enough out here for everybody to eat. I can't focus on nobody because I got too much focusing on myself and things that I need to do and learn. And try to get this stuff pushed on so that I can grow. Okay? Sometimes I think it ain't enough time in the day for everything that I got to do for Pisces Studio. But God says, check this out, Miss Lisa. You need to chill a little bit. And that's when I do. I chill. Because let me tell you something. And I'm going to say it again. You got the seven of wands, and this is me growing. People are looking at you. People are trying to bust your bubble. And you got people that don't even like where you at in your life. They're the envy and the jealousy. And they don't ain't no room for that shit. I mean, gear yourself up with, with your healing and your spiritual. Gear yourself with your chakras. Gear yourself and make sure that you got everything. Look at that. Popping for you. Do you understand? Kill yourself with it. Art Michael. Cut all the course that people don't want right for Pisces Studio and Pisces period. Do you understand? They are envy only after you made it to your path, okay? They are trying to whip that whip around you and asking you to defend your accomplishment. Sometimes you know, envy is a um, result of um, people looking at you shining in this bright world. If you are feeling attacked after sharing your magicals, and it is important to remember that others likely want what you have. Did you hear what I said? That others likely want what you have. So stand by their bravery and continue to do beautiful things. Mom feel called feeling of love and will be into your body and creativity and protect that bubble of energy around you. Do you understand? Protect that bubble, this bubble in your energy around you. And honey, you got to understand that you make out people that you're talking to about your ideas and where you at in your life. They don't want, and they always try to say things, and you know they ain't coming right, because that fake laugh, and that fake, oh, I'm happy for you, and you can see the fakeness in them. Do you understand? So be careful about your surroundings, and what you see around you. Check to, to, to make sure that you are actually in the way that is aligning with your highest values, and when you know You are, don't let anyone stop you from achieving your dreams. 
You got that? And I'm going to say it again. Haters are fucking haters all over. You can't fucking haters are haters. All right? You need to keep focus on your surroundings. All right? Keep focus on your surroundings. Um, It's crazy. But, uh... Um... You got the five of cups. Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer right here. Happy birthday to the Cancers, all right? You 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 tend your tender heart helps helps you navigate towards your brighter future. Okay, check this out. You see her right there? So guess what? Grievance. Disappointment, betrayal, bitterness. Okay, self-pity can signify a broken heart, okay? You got that? So why are you sitting there worrying about this here when you got one right back here that's letting you know you need to turn around and look at what the things that you got. You know, broken heart, honey, all that, you know, you got to understand it's your surroundings. You got people jealous over you. Maybe your own motherfucking man to live with you don't want the best for you. Maybe he don't want you to even shine. Maybe he's sitting there taking the spotlights off of you. Maybe you got people that's coming back in your life or people that was in your life or whatever. That's got this room taking space in your life that don't want nothing for you. And you know they don't, but you're sit, still sitting there worrying about what they think and how they think about you. That's fucking ridiculous. Okay? Lift, it says. Lift, you may suddenly feel or find yourself in the middle of a reality that is a painful disappointment. If, you're, if your dark nights were a result of someone else's deception, you will need to find the seed to forgive in order to avoid a collapsing in heart. Okay, release yourself from any guilt around the situation. When we realize that the future we want, we were working towards is no longer an option. It is easy to focus on the loss and allow our energy to um, signify the spiritual of our self pitiness. Don't allow your life force to drain away with the Things that you once loved. All right? Allow the tender of your heart to, nav to navigate towards your creativity magic and find the faith in your future. If you are having a hard time letting go, unhook your heart from your, from your uh, dreams and your thoughts and give yourself permission to unveil the brighter future. Okay, your grief, reclaim your happiness. Grief, you need to reclaim your happiness. Stepping into the right path in the hopes. So, whatever situation you're going in, whatever situation it is, I don't give a damn what it is. All situations are there for a lesson to be left. Some people are going through a lot of shit in their lives. Do you understand? A lot of shit. But it's all in your head. You got people trying to make you feel like you ain't nothing. Like you be little. Like they better than you. Like you can't do this. Like they had a big part in your success where you're at right now. They trying to drain and suck the blood out of you and suck your energy because they don't want you to succeed because they all want to know everything about what you're doing. Everything they want to know, but it ain't none of their fucking business. Okay? But then sometimes you feel like you know you're losing out on something when you know good and damn fucking well that you ain't losing out on shit. Because if it was so good to you, why are you feeling so drained and it's so... You know, this depression on what's going on in your head and these tricks that's playing games on you in your head. Why are you feeling some type of loss? Why? Because you got to understand, when you feel your loss, they feel your gain. Okay? When you feel bad, they are happy. When you allow them to control everything about you, that energy, they take over your energy. 
Do you understand? Anything, I mean a job, a person, a play, anything that you allow to take that space about you, remember one thing, you are no longer in your good blessings, okay? You allowing someone to take all of that from you, and that's why you're feeling drained, and that's why you're feeling sad, and that's why you're trying to put the puzzles together when you know what the puzzles is. The missing puzzle is you. So when you come into that, all that picture that you got of what it is, and then you keep blaming yourself and feeling sorry and all of this crazy shit, just realize one thing, that that missing puzzle in all of that to make it complete is you. And you the only one that can complete your puzzle. Can't nobody complete the puzzle but you. Because it's your well-being. It's your life. It's what you leave and what you wake up to and what you go to bed to. It's yourself. Can't nobody complete you but only you. Do you understand? Because you're looking at these cups. And these cups are saying that you're worrying about shit that don't even fucking matter. Let me tell you, you got people watching you, hating on you already. So why are you allowing all of this to be worked together? Don't you know how powerful you are? Don't you know who you are? Or you still don't know who you are? Because check this out. An example. An example. The guy I put out the car, and I always say that because I want y'all to remember of the guy that I put out the car. Okay? So then I take him to the beach recently, and I said... All right, I ain't sleeping with the man. No, I ain't. I don't kiss him. I don't do nothing. I don't want to sleep. I don't want to kiss him or nothing. I don't want to do nothing. Okay? But I said, let's go ahead and celebrate my retirement. The word is retirement. He wasn't there the day I retired. Y'all was there. Y'all had champagne popping up and down for me. Thank you, family. So he wasn't there. So he said, oh, I wanted you to see my dad and all this bullshit ass lie. Okay, so then that day, the, a couple days after, a week after, we go to the beach. But here I'm running around. My grandson sitting there eating the corn and the chicken and all that. All this food that I was making for him. And my grandson is the witness to tell you that I'm not lying. My grandson told me, are you cooking for a party or something? And he's only nine years old. So I did all of this shit and put it in my car, right? So when I put it in my car, I head on to pick him up. Because he ain't got no damn car either. Oh, Lord Jesus. All right, now look at the picture. So when we get to the beach, he start complaining. He just got off of work. He's tired. He don't feel like being in the beach. All this shit. Negativity shit from the door. You know I'm a Pisces. You know we love water. So right there, that's a red flag. So we get there and I take all the food. And I forgot to bring the table and all that. He gonna tell me, well... Now, we over here, we ain't got no chairs, no umbrella. Now, I done cooked, slave. I'm over here tripping, trying to rush to do every fucking thing. I wore myself out, trying to be there on time to make him, to make him happy. Fuck me. I done slave and did everything, bought the food, bought everything, champagne, everything. And he don't deserve shit of mine, right? So now he's trying to make me feel, now he done drained my energy. Now I don't even want to eat. Okay, so we leave that spot because it was too hot. So we go to another spot. It was two guys there smoking and, and smoking, getting high and drinking. And he told me, look, it's two guys here. They look like bumps. I said, leave them guys alone. Let them enjoy themselves. The table it was a picnic table. There was only one table, right? But it was under the shade. So the people wanted to sit there too. So this table don't got our name on it. We all going to sit down and enjoy this. He took the breath out of me, was trying to drain my energy. Do you know, I dropped him off after all of this. It turned out to be fine because the lady popped up with her own event and she didn't want me to leave. He was jealous because the lady did not want me to leave and it was all eyes on me and it was her party that she brought to where we was at. Okay? You get that shit? So he didn't want nothing, no shining lights on me. He wanted to fucking bust my motherfucking bubble, trying to take the spotlight for me for no fucking reason. All right, but he was trying to. Do you know from this day to day I dropped him off? I never heard again from him. 
So that tells you that's red flag because he only wait for me to call him to make shit pop off. And that's what I'm saying. Stop worrying about shit that don't even matter to you. Because let me tell you something. Everything you worrying about, you are the missing puzzle. The missing piece to your puzzle, you are that. Okay, because can't nobody make you or break you. And the only person that is stuck, maybe you got everything going on. Everything. You're looking good with your career. You got this. But you seem to be worrying about one thing. And it's a person, a human being. When human beings don't do nothing but hurt the fuck out of you. That's what human beings do. That's why I'd rather fuck with spirits than human beings. Because all human beings wants to do is envy, jealous, and conniving. Don't want nothing good for you. It could be your kids, your family, anybody, your man, everybody, people at your job. They all want nothing for fucking you. It's all a fake mess and they need to uncover the mess and show who they really are. Because it's saying right here, they very envy and jealous. They hating over you. And then you got, you're sitting there worried about shit that don't even fucking matter. Get the hell out of here. And then you got this right here. All right. Check this out. The seven of cups again. So you caught up in your feelings there some type of way. All right, you're wondering like, oh, I got this one. You got everybody in your plate. You got all kinds of people in your plate and sitting on different levels. But what it is is fuck everybody that you got in your plate that ain't serving you, right? Take your focus off of that and, get, and focus on your fucking career and fuck everybody else. You know what I mean? Because once you focus on what you need to do for yourself, yourself, this person's going to come along and it's going to be a plus, not a minus. Because everything you ever had was minus. So now you're going to gain a plus, not a minus. But you got to understand you need to clear the path of all the shit that don't even matter no more. Because the more you sit there and you want and want and want, and I'm talking about myself, shit that don't even fucking even mean shit, ain't worth shit, ain't telling you they ain't shit because you already seen they ain't shit. Let it fucking go. Do you understand? Because I was all, well, why the fuck is all up in there when ain't shit going up in there? Not a fucking thing. I don't want to screw them. I don't want to even, honey, please. I'm not, I don't even kiss the man. I don't even touch him. He don't touch. I don't want nothing from him. And I don't even know why I waste my beautiful time and my money, my energy on trash. Thank you. And that's the, that's what I need to say. You got that? Did I break it down? All right. Because now you're coming into the seven of cups. All right, the seven of cups, baby. Here you go. Your wildest image, imagination, is a tool that you can use to inform your future in a down to earth way. You got that? Let me tell you something fantasy, choosing, wishing, thinking, wishful thinking. Okay, that path that you got. That temptation of this path needing to move forward without knowing the full picture that's in front of you. I'm going to say it again. God wants you to go through that path that you don't know because you can't see what it is. But he's on the other side. Okay, so it's saying that you need to walk by faith. And you don't need to see all this because I'm going to tell you something right now. Check this out. Um, if you're feeling blockish by decisions or fear by making a wrong choice, overwhelmed, you don't need to do that. Because look, check this out. You got all of this. You see that snake? That's that. You see the bat? The wings draining your fucking energy away from you. Okay? But you choose this one and that's the ladder. That goes up. Because you letting this shit go. This shit is leaving you. Okay. So are you feeling some type of block? Are you feeling that you can't make the decision? Are you feeling this fear of making the wrong choice? Are you overwhelmed by it? Do you feel that way? When you're daydreaming and you are on your way into the future. Okay. This. Um. 
opportunity or this option that you have in your front of you that you can't feel both under and over woman. So you're trying to, you, you, you might be feeling over and underwhelming. You may not know exactly the path from A to Z. It's often, it's like a nudge of saying, move on. You can do this. And life can be presented itself like a um, ladder that you need to climb to, to get there. Okay. And, and, and sometimes um, when you get down, the only way is to go up. Do you understand? So when you feeling like you are overwhelmed and you don't know which way to go, and when you feel down, the only way it is to go up, just look up. Look at the sky, baby. I just told you are a giraffe. Didn't I say that? A giraffe don't look down because they just step on shit and keep going. So if you feeling again, a feeling of being blocked or uh, by decision or fear of making a wrong choice. Or feeling overwhelmed. Just know one thing. That you desire to choose the one correct. And perfect that path can be your future. and Your completion of what this decision that you need to make. Because there is no way to know. Everything that will be spilled forth from this cup of your choice. You're not going to know what it is when this cup spills. But you need to go by faith. God is saying, spill the cup and it'll, it'll spill all over. But guess what? You need to let it be and go with the flow. Because God got you on the other side. Why are you acting like you don't know? When I told you. God has you on the other side. He got you. And if you don't believe he got you, then guess what? Then stay on this side, honey. Stay right where you at because um, he don't have time for people that um, don't know and don't believe in him. See, God is a mighty for God and God don't play. God says, I got you. So don't ever question me. Do you understand? There's no need for you to question anything. But if you want to question it, and again, if you want to question where you at and you feeling this blockage and being by this decision, okay, in indecision, this fear or making the wrong choice or this overwhelm about it, just know that if you go with the flow, God is on the other side because right here it looks like you are so confused and you don't know what you want to do. And like you're scared. And then here you need to let go. And let God. Okay. And then here is people just hate on your parade. They try to bust your bubble. And that's what people do when they don't feel like they like where you at. It's like, oh, she thinks she all this and that. And um, this and that. Like they don't say, I'm sending you blessings. What they do is send you hate. But they don't say it to you. They say it to everybody else. Talk about you in your back and slap. All kinds of crazy shit. And here we go. All right. You got the four of pentacles. The four of pentacles is somebody that has more than enough to give. But in this card, it shows everything behind closed doors. And honey, you got, you keeping a secret, honey, because you got all kinds of locks on that door. And it's saying that in any car you see, it's either a man standing with the coin in his hand, then he got one on top, then he got one on the bottom. Or it shows a lady holding on to her pocketbook tight as fucking hell. Tight as hell. All right, you got the queen of swords, and then you got the five of wands. Let's get down with this. The four of pentacles. Okay, come on, God. Preach it, baby. Preach it. Let me know what I need to know, too, you know? The four of pentacles is showing I live an abundance life. I live an abundance life and I have more than enough. I have more than what I need. Okay. Stable, saving, success, gratitude, acceptance, um, your worth, accepting your worth, being in a flow with the universe, feeling the gratitude and help from others in a need 
a time of need. Help for mothers from a time of need. Honey, do you want um help for your project? Are you asking? Do you want? Because um you got everything you need. You only gonna get better, but you got to let go of shit that don't matter. Do you understand? Like when it comes to your future, you can make it happen. But when it comes to your love life or shit like that, you all fucked up. So why don't you leave the fucked up part alone and move on to the future? Because I'm going to tell you the truth. Sometimes people can't handle you because you're just too much. And I'm talking about my damn self. Okay. So since people can't handle me, fuck it. I might as well make fucking money. And say, fuck who can't handle me, who don't want to handle me, and who don't want the best of me. Fuck it all. And if you live with somebody that's sitting there and you don't even know what the fuck they're thinking about you, fuck them too. Fuck them. If you know that you can't deal with them and they getting on your nerves, join the motherfuckers in that like they don't even exist. If you can't leave the motherfuckers. I'm going to read on this now, honey. Stable, save, and success. Accepting your worth, being in the flow with your universe feelings, gratitude, help others in time of need, helping others in time of need. And you know what? That's what Pisces do. We help so much that we can't help no damn more. Because the more you help them, the more they fucking want to drain the soul out of you, the light out of you. They just want you to give, 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 give. And they don't give a fuck if you don't have it. Just find it to give it to me. Ain't that some shit? Ain't that some shit? Even if you don't have it, find it. Dig it out the dirt and give it to me. Fuck that shit. Fuck it. No. We're not doing that. Because now it's time to turn around and say me, 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 me. You. And only you. All right? You are building your life corn by corn. You are building your success corn by corn. Damn, they want you. They want to drain your success because they want to get everything from you. But you need to focus on your coins and building your success coin by coin. Do it. Okay? And you reach a moment in the stable. Getting there is satis it, it's a significant. And uh, it's revealing yourself. And it's saying you can rest. You can rest now because it seems like you overwhelmed with everything you're doing. And it's saying relax and rest. You don't want to get yourself sick. Okay, because you're doing too much. Relax. I don't give a fuck who needs you. Let them motherfuckers go. Take time to breathe and relax. If you're so with everything that's going on. Because right here, it shows you behind closed door and you are sitting there. Look at this. You studying, you adding, you subtracting, you doing everything. How can I make this better? How can I do this? And how can I grow from where I'm at right now? Because God is giving you all the gifts in front of you. He's saying, look, I got this for you. I got that for you. He's bringing it to you, literally bringing all these different ideas to you. But you come first. And you building this corn by corn, honey. It's all about you. So let all the shit that don't matter, and I'm talking about people are the worst create, the, the, the worst, the worst. People can, can make you sick, can drain you. People, humans are something else, honey. It's like it ain't no stopping. No matter what, no matter how much you try, no matter what you do, there ain't no stopping them because it's all about them. It ain't about a y'all. It ain't about a us. It's about them. Okay? And once you don't do them, you're going to see how quick they fucking got attitudes and want to ghost you and all that shit. Come on now. you Because this right here is showing that you are behind, behind closed doors and you ain't letting nobody know shit about what you're doing. But you're growing because it's coin by coin. Do you understand? Okay, and then you got the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords, she's sitting there in her throne, honey. She got the owl. She got the sword sitting there tapping on the sword because she look like she's what? Look at this shit. 
She don't look to me like she ain't got the damn thing. She looked to me like she is standing in a throne. And that's what you need to do. Stand in your fucking throne, honey. Stand in your throne. You speak to, you speak wise and you speak clear. And I told you, God gave you the source. He gave you that. And here you go showing up. Pisces, you are a Pisces. And God gave you the source. And in reality, this is uh, Aquarius, Libra, Libra, or Gemini. But he gave you that power. Because you can be anybody you want. And don't you fucking forget that part. You see yourself? You're saying the thoughts, okay? And you are the thoughts of your leader, okay? You're a decision maker. You can execute anything. You know how to communicate very well. You're wise, you're logical. You can be a counselor. You, you're very um, honest. You're being very direct, okay? Intelligent, being direct and seeking the truth. So what are you seeking? What are you trying to find out? Because everything you know, you know already. You, I mean, what they got to show you? Because see, Pisces, let me tell you something. Pisces, you go by your, your intuitions and your intuitions don't lie. These motherfuckers here be saying, come with the um, receipt. Come with, uh, I need to see receipts. I need to see what you're saying. I need to see. No, baby. I'm going to say it again. God gave you the source because you was born Pisces. You are born with, you are very in tune with yourself. Okay? So if shit don't match, makes any sense, the shit don't, don't, nothing adds up. You know that this is not the way it's supposed to be. Right? They lying to you. They deceiving you. They using you. Physically, mentally, emotionally. They're not good for you. It ain't nothing that they say match. Because it's always a fucking lie. Do you understand? So let that be. Let it go. Because you're too smart for that shit. Because you very wise, honey. You are so damn wise. Sometimes this communication style that you got come across to people as cold and cutting. So if you are having that, tr that, that trouble communicating with someone that is difficult from another person to hear, something that would you say to somebody is so difficult because they think you got a fucking sharp mouth. You know, you're always coming at them with a knife. You understand? Know that you can always dip your toes into the cup of empathy, okay, and have compassion how you deliver things, because you know you short with the mouth, a clear heart and a clear mind will always, a clear heart and a clear mind, listen to me, will always allow you to speak the truth, always, so they don't like how you're saying it to them, because they think you're getting smart, and you're trying to cut them up, and you're trying to Rip them and shred them in pieces. But that's just the way you are, Pisces. And that's the why that's why people don't like us because when we talk, we talk. And when we say things to you, we say it. We don't mean to hurt you, but we come off the right way. And they seeing it the wrong way. Okay, so it's like I say I curse, people don't like the way I talk. But who is it? Who are you to tell me how to talk? Do you understand? I had somebody tell me, oh, you're not going to talk to me the way you talk to your son and your grandson. Are you fucking kidding me? You said my grandson and my son, my only grandson and my only son. Let me let you know something right now, motherfucker. I talk to you, your wife, and your baby and say fuck all three of y'all put together because you're not going to ever tell me how to say what and what to say what. See, what I say on my YouTube, Pisces Studio, I say in reality what people that know me. And if you think I'm lying, you better ask Dr. Terry, okay, and Kathy, and people like that that I let inside my house. Because I don't fucking play. The same way you see me is the same way you don't see me. I don't give a damn where we meet. Outside, on stage, wherever. I'm going to always be me. Okay? And I ain't sugarcoating shit. And that's what the problem is. 
People want you to sugarcoat shit so that it can fit their language. You ain't got to sugarcoat a motherfucking thing. Say it how you want to say it. And mean what you say. And don't change shit about it. Because I am not apologizing for shit. Okay? It is what it is. So then you got the five of wands. All right? Because I try to break things down when you understand that you ain't got to put it with a damn thing. If they don't like the way you say things, then they don't like it. Shit. Then move on to the next motherfucker. I don't know what to tell you. Shit. You understand? I support others and they support me. And we rise together. Okay? With harmony. Okay? This is saying confident. Okay? Abundance. Being pushed by others to a seat. A brainstorm. Okay. Um, it's saying that um, there is no limit to this energy of leveling up. Because, see, sometimes, and this is you right there. Right there. And you see all these people. Oh, well, you think, um, you know, a little river can be a good thing. Okay. It can push us to become the very best what we vision of ourselves and to move quickly than we would even if we was alone. So people are pushing you like I'm telling you, go. The, your whole car reading is saying go for it. Don't let nobody stop you because everything they do to you to stop you, really they're pushing you. Because when you tell me I can't do it, I push even harder. When you, you, when you say you don't like something about me, I act even crazier. Okay? So what you're doing is pushing me to be the best that I can be. When you say you don't like the way I talk, I go really crazy on your fucking ass. From the door. You understand? Because everybody got a choice to make. But I'm going to tell you again, it's this puzzle that you got. And the only thing that's missing in that puzzle is you. Boom. Put that missing piece in there and you will blow up. Do you understand? And that's you and God. And now it's time for me and you. Did you understand your reading today? Because it's very powerful. Very powerful. Okay? Okay, so let's get started with this. Me and you. Okay? Me and you. And I don't do readings on Saturdays and Sundays. Okay? That's the days... Did I do this general reading for everybody? And then I get to working on my YouTube and try to put my jewelry online and stuff like that. Then I'm going to do two day and get somebody to work with me. Another Pisces studio is working with me to show me how to, you know, put my print and all that. That's what you do. If you need help and you need me to help you or get you some help, let me know. Because I'm about growing. And anybody on my Pisces studio... Y'all better know that y'all wear crowns and y'all the boss. The bo I'm talking about the boss of the boss. That means you're working for self. Because that's what I do. I promote motherfuckers. You understand? To be the best that you can be. Alright? It ain't about me. It's about you. Because I think you're awesome. I think you're beautiful. I think you're worthy. And can't nobody, nobody make your puzzle like you. You the missing piece. You better go for it and stop worrying about making everybody happy. Make your damn self happy. Because I love me. And you should too. Here we go. Your life does not get better by chance. It gets better by change. You got that? You see that bird? And you know bird always follow Pisces. Look, they flying in front of me there. The hottest love has the coldest ending. That means, honey... When it's good, it's good. And when it's fucked up, it is fucked up. The beginning is good and the ending is fucked up. Stop trying to make people fit into your life. If it ain't right and ain't right, let it fucking go. So, souls that belong to each other will always find their way back together. You got that? Let it go. And if it's meant to be, it's going to be. And if it's not, it's not. Shit. I told you about the damn man. Fuck him, honey. I let him, I put his ass, I ghost his ass, yes I do, and every time I call him, he answer that stupid ass phone, dumb of me to even call him, ask him that he want to eat my good ass food, and I can cook my ass off. The fall, change in the air will answer arrive in the in autumn, and I keep telling you, 
when the the the, 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 the when the leaves turn brown and yellow and all these beautiful color changes is going to happen. It's going to be a big, big fucking change in your life. Pause. Inact calmness. Stop. Step back. Wait for the sign. In, in, in the fall, something big is going to happen. You better wait for that sign because it is coming to you. Surrender. Detach. Trust. Free. Fall. Feel faith. Have faith that all will be will be well. If you just let go and let God, everything is going to work out. But you seem to want to fight even God, damn it. How you going to fight God? God is a mighty thing. You're not going to go by what he tells you to do. You're going to go by what you feel that you need to do. That's crazy. Mm -mm. I fought him many times, but I can't do it no more. Look at this. Somebody, because you are the Mac bitch. It's not, you know what I mean? Look at this. And you know it. They coming towards you, baby. And this person's going to be loyal because it's a new beginning to a whole new relationship. And that's what I'm talking about. I'm sitting here because I'm going to um Nevada's in the house and I should be there next month. Next month, I would say at the middle of next month, you're going to see me in Nevada, honey. Honey, money, money. Because we getting ready to pop shit off. Open up a warehouse and get everything popping. And I'll give you more details. I'm taking pictures of that shit while it's growing. Open up a whole new warehouse. And guess what I'm doing? I'm, I'm opening up a, um, I'm open up a herb store that if you want some herbs and shit, you know the real herbs that you need, we're going to be have that shit, shit from all over the world. Okay, all over the world, real herbs. Okay, and I ain't talking about no weed herb, I'm talking about herbs. Okay, so you got a house, honey, a brand new house, and this man is coming into your world, or this woman is. And let me tell you, honey, you're gonna be the main thing to every fucking thing. Whatever that person had, you he is no longer having no more because he's gonna make you the main bitch. And I mean, dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 that kind of shit. Because I don't want to be with nobody that's telling me they got other bitches. If you do, clean your house out and let me know when you're done. Because I ain't got time for none of that shit. None of it. I ain't got no time to be playing no games with no damn body. And these grown ass men in their 60s, 50s, 40s and all that. 70s, even 80s still act like they fucking little kids and play these little stupid ass games. They're fucking 20 year old play and play like my damn grandson, honey. Y'all need to grow the fuck up and become real men. These men out here, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with them, but they act like bitches and the bitches act like men. I'm all confused. That's why they can't fuck with a bitch like me because they think I'm too damn much for them. You're damn right I am because you ain't coming right. The fuck out of here. I'm sitting up here. You sitting down here. But you want to get up here with me and use my up here. You ain't got shit to come to the table with. Baby, bye, please. Goodbye. See you later. Fuck you. Somebody's coming to bring you a message in a bottle. And it is on the phone or something because it's got a phone in that bottle. Okay, it's time to go run, baby. In the Nevada, here I come. Nevada, I'm coming. Honey, because guess what? You see that door when you don't see it? God says keep running towards us because when you run towards us, I'm going to be right there. Run for your life, honey. Run to me. Come on. All right? Come on, baby. Everything is working out your way because you see you got that little one coming. So it's something that you're going to rebirth and, and you the mighty power of everything that you're going to gain. Okay, beautiful things, honey, beautiful family, beautiful career, learning everything about yourself, honey, because everything starts off little and you the Mac bitch. Okay, so I got all these babies on my back. Right, and I got the world here, but guess what? God says, I'm giving you the world, don't worry about it, Lisa, because as long as you live right and do the right thing, I got you because you got to breathe right and do the right thing to open up your YouTube every day and give these people the right energy and let them know that you are beautiful, you're worthy, and you everything. You got everything you need. You don't need nothing else. And the only thing that you need to do is add that missing piece to your puzzle that is you. And can't nobody put the piece to that puzzle but you. Clear everything out, honey. It's like when you swim, 
You pushing out and you, and when you do this, you're moving ahead because if you don't do this, you're going to sit there and you're going to go down. But if you keep doing this, you're swimming and you're going to get to where you're going. Don't stop. Get there. Okay? Because when you get there, God is going to be there to uh, open up the doors and say, you have arrived, baby. Come on. All right? So, um, so now, so now we are in what? Oh, shit, I did all that. Is that it? Lord, I guess it is. I got one more card to read. Oh, yes, it is. Wow, that went by. Okay. So that means I'm having fun doing this reading. Trust in this situation calling for you to have faith. Trust in it. Trust in it, okay? Trust in it. Okay, romance feeling. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. There it is. True love. This person's going to love you because you don't, this person is looking at you and kissing you and holding you exactly like the picture should look like. Okay, this, this is a romance of a lifetime and I am definitely waiting, waiting for it. Patiently waiting. Let me tell you something. This could be the one you already met the Romance partner of your that you seek, and I ain't met nobody, but honey, I'm right there waiting on it. It ain't being that shit, cause I ain't. I'm not taking care of no damn grown ass man that want to act like he's in his twenties, and you're a grown damn man. I ain't got time for it. Pisces, love you, love you, love you, and know that you are the missing piece of your own puzzle. That can't nobody write the book, the beginning of your life and, and the ending, but God. So put that puzzle where it goes. And open up that world that you have to open. Love you. 